The Model 152 has been selected to show the step-by-step -step operating procedures of Models 150 and 152. These models are similar, however the Model 152 is a counter model while the Model 150 is a console model. They each have 1.5 quarts or 1.4 liter capacity freezing cylinder and the mix flows by gravity from the hopper to the freezing cylinder through a feed tube. We begin our instructions at the point where we enter the store in the morning and find the parts disassembled and laid out to air dry from the previous night's cleaning. These procedures will show you how to assemble these parts into the freezer, sanitize them, and then prime the freezer with fresh mix in preparation to serve your first portion. For more information, please refer to the operator's manual. Assembly when lubricating parts, use an approved food grade lubricant such as Taylor Lube. Make sure the machine is off before installing any parts. Lubricate the groove on the beater drive shaft. With the opening of the cup seal facing away from the hex end, slide the seal into the groove. Apply an even coat of lubricant to the seal and the shaft. Do not lubricate the hex end of the beater drive shaft. Insert the beater assembly through the rear shell bearing at the back of the freezing cylinder and engage the hex end firmly into the female socket. When it is properly seated, the beater will not protrude beyond the front of the freezing cylinder. Place the large o-ring into the groove on the back of the freezer door and lubricate it. Slide the front bearing over the baffle rod so the flanged edge is against the door. Place the white plastic guide bearing on the end of the baffle rod. Do not lubricate the front bearing or the guide bearing. Slide the slotted portion of the hand screws into the slots in the freezer door. With both hands, hold the sides of the freezer door and insert the baffle rod into the center of the beater assembly. The white guide bearing must fit securely in the hole of the drive shaft. Finger tighten the hand screws, making sure they are tightened equally and that the door is snug. Do not over tighten the hand screws. Both hand screw and door damage can result if the hand screws are over tightened or if one hand screw is tightened more than the other. Slide the two O rings into the grooves on the draw valve and lubricate. Lubricate the inside of the freezer door spout from the bottom. Insert the draw valve into the freezer door from the bottom. The draw valve is installed correctly when the slotted opening in the draw valve is visible through the window of the freezer door. Slide the o-ring into the groove on the draw valve handle and lubricate. Insert the valve lifter arm through the slotted opening in the draw valve Insert the draw valve handle through the opposite cross hole and into the opening of the valve lifter arm. The draw valve handle can be assembled at varied vertical positions. Choose an angle which is comfortable for you. The draw valve must be raised completely when the draw valve handle is down. Snap the design cap over the bottom of the freezer door spout. Assemble the drip tray and splash shield. Lean the feed tube against the side wall of the mix hopper. Sanitizing. Prepare an approved 100 ppm sanitizing solution. Use warm water and follow the manufacturer's specifications. Follow the directions on the label as a solution that is too strong can cause parts damage while a solution that is too mild will not provide adequate cleaning. Pour one gallon or 3.8 liters of the sanitizing solution into the hopper and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. While the solution is flowing into the freezing cylinder, brush clean the mix hopper, the mix level float stem, the mix inlet hole, and the feed tube. Press the reset button. 
place the power switch in the wash position. This will cause the sanitizing solution in the freezing cylinder to be agitated. Allow it to agitate for five minutes. Place an empty pail beneath the door spout and raise the draw valve. Draw off all of the sanitizing solution. When the sanitizer stops flowing from the door spout, lower the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. With sanitized hands, stand the feed tube in the corner of the mix hopper. Place the mix level float on the mix level float stem. Priming. Prime the machine as close as possible to the time of the first product draw. With a pail beneath the door spout, raise the draw valve. Fill the mix hopper with fresh mix. Maximum hopper capacity is 8 quarts or 7.6 liters. Allow the mix to flow into the freezing cylinder. When the mix has stopped bubbling down into the freezing cylinder, Install the feed tube in the mix inlet hole. Make sure the small hole in the feed tube is down. Place the mix hopper cover in position. Place the mix refrigeration switch in the on position. Place the power switch in the auto position. Momentarily raise the draw switch paddle to activate the refrigeration cycle. When the unit cycles off, the product will be ready to serve. Slide the rear drip pan into the hole in the side panel. Standby mode. During long, no-use periods, the standby feature maintains safe product temperatures in the mix hopper and freezing cylinder. To operate the standby mode of operation, place the power switch in the auto position and the mix refrigeration switch in the standby position. With sanitized hands, remove the feed tube. Turn it over and place the end without the hole into the mix inlet hole. Closing procedure. To disassemble the machine, the following items will be needed. A cleaning pail. Necessary brushes provided with the freezer. Cleaner and single service towels. Make sure the mix refrigeration switch is in the off position. Remove the feed tube. With a pail beneath the door spout, place the power switch in the wash position and raise the draw valve. Drain all the product from the freezing cylinder. When the product stops flowing from the door spout, Lower the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. Lift the hopper cover. Remove the feed tube and mix level float. Take them to the sink for cleaning. Always follow local health codes when disposing of product. Rinsing. Pour one gallon or 3.8 liters of cool clean water into the mix hopper. With the brushes provided, scrub the mix hopper, the mix level float stem, and the mix inlet hole. With a pail beneath the door spout, place the power switch in the wash position and raise the draw valve. Drain all the rinse water from the freezing cylinder. When the rinse water stops flowing from the door spout, lower the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. Repeat this procedure until the rinse water being drawn from the freezing cylinder is clear. Cleaning. Prepare an approved cleaning solution. Use warm water and follow the manufacturer's specifications. Pour one gallon or 3.8 liters of the cleaning solution into the mix hopper and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. While the solution is flowing into the freezing cylinder, Brush clean the mix hopper, the mix level float stem, and the mix inlet hole. Place the power switch in the wash position. Place an empty pail beneath the door spout and raise the draw valve. Draw off all the cleaning solution. When the solution stops flowing from the door spout, lower the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. Disassembly. 
make sure the power switch is in the off position. Failure to follow this instruction may result in personal injury from hazardous moving parts. Remove the hand screws and the freezer door. Remove the beater assembly from the freezing cylinder. Remove the front drip tray and the splash shield from the freezer. Remove the rear drip pan from the side panel and take these parts to the sink for cleaning. If the drip pan is filled with an excessive amount of mix, the drive shaft cup seal of the beater assembly should be properly lubricated or replaced. Brush cleaning. Prepare a sink with an approved cleaning solution. Use warm water and follow the manufacturer's specifications. Make sure all brushes provided with the freezer are available for brush cleaning. Remove the cup seal from the drive shaft of the beater assembly. From the freezer door, remove the design cap, the draw valve handle, the valve lifter arm, and the draw valve. Remove all of the O-rings. Remove the front bearing and the guide bearing from the back of the freezer door. Thoroughly brush clean all disassembled parts in the cleaning solution. Make sure all lubricant and mix film is removed. Take particular care to brush clean the draw valve core in the freezer door. Place all the cleaned parts on a clean, dry surface to air dry overnight. Return to the freezer with a small amount of cleaning solution. With the black bristle brush, clean the rear shell bearing at the back of the freezing cylinder. Wipe clean all exterior surfaces of the freezer. We at Taylor thank you for watching this video.